Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. The nails you're going to see are only 7 days old. You will see why they should be fixed. So I will correct another nail tech's work and fix all the mistakes. Let's get into it! So here are today's nails. Again, they're just 7 days old. Of course, my model saw that something was wrong in the process. But she accepted it and left with this result. It was her first visit to that nail tech. She asked for a natural nail correction. She said that a coating lasted poorly on her nails, so she wanted them strengthened. But the nails got too thick and bulky on the tips. The tech planned to do an ombre transition here. But it didn't work out, I guess, so it was covered up with a thick layer of glitter. The model broke her pinky nail the day before the shooting, so it still hurts. I will need to extend it. So then I'll have to remove the coating up to a thin underlay to see what material was used here. I will need to remove all the liftings. When I started to remove it, I doubted whether it was a base coat, a gel or an aqua gel. So even being an experienced tech, I can't still be sure. There is a thin and soft coating near the cuticle. Color over a thin base coat layer, I guess. So I have to work carefully. For this purpose, I like using a green carbide drill bit with a thin tip. It is super convenient since it helps to remove the gel in the cuticle zone without overfiling it. So in case you need to remove a relatively new coating, I highly recommend you use it. As you can see, the nail plate is thin and red on the index nail. Some aggressive removal took place here, I believe. The coating lasts poorly in this case. I shape the nail and polish it with a 240 grit nail file. Use the softest abrasive here, so as not to damage the nails even more. There is something weird going on here on the middle nail. I asked about it on my Instagram, and most of you couldn't guess whether it was some leftover pterygium, color or nail scales. But if we take a closer look, we will see that it is a forecut. And in order to remove it, we need to know how deep it is. If it's too deep, we keep it. And if not, we can slightly file it off like this using a nail file. Now let's clean up the pterygium. I'm using a red diamond flame drill bit. Since the nails are thin, I can't use a blue drill bit here. To avoid cuts, Make sure to push the cuticle well, using an orange stick or a pusher before the manicure, without lifting up the nail plate scales. Now place the drill bit at the right angle without putting it on its tip. And another important point is not to get to the side sinus yet. Take your time here, open it up, and then process this area thoroughly then you will avoid cutting it. But anyways, work carefully. Stay focused and lean on with the pinky finger. Process the right sides in the reverse position. And lift up the cuticle rim. This way we can see the cuticle pocket better and touch it up where needed. Watch the client's reaction at the moment and the depth of the cuticle pocket. Guide by the white lunula. This particular one is medium, so there is a small cuticle pocket here. I will cut the cuticle with a rounded cylinder drill bit, 5 mm in diameter. I lift up the cuticle with its edge and file it off with its central part. I'm using a red one here. Since there is a red area above the cuticle, which means that it's sensitive. Done with the manicure. 
I have completed it before nail restoration and strengthening. Now I degreased the nail plate and applied adhesive products. A dehydrator, since these nails are thin they sweat faster. And an acid-free primer for better bonding. It is a must here. Apply it carefully without getting on the skin. Next, apply a thin base coat layer. It will act as an underlay between the nail and the sculpting material. On such nails, in no way should we use aggressive acidic products. Since applied in a thick layer, they can lead to a nail burn. I will extend all the broken nails. This correction may seem easy, but it takes time and practice. This correction may seem easy, but it takes time and practice. We need to remove the old coverage and all the liftings, extend some nails. So this procedure will cost just like nail strengthening or sculpting. So we need to take the complexity into account and warn the client in advance. Now to set up the form on this asymmetrically broken pinky nail, we need to cut it out asymmetrically. So I just cut it out deeper on one side. Mark the cuts to keep the nail folds from pushing out the form. It should get pressed well around the nail and there should be a small arch here. It will make the nails more wearable since they won't be flat anymore. Which is actually one of the reasons why they broke in the first place here. I will use a medium viscosity gel by Cosmo Profi. I love its consistency and the way it gets spread. It is perfect for the no filing technique. I will try to use this technique here. But it's not an easy task as you may know. So let's get all crafty here. I'm sure you will agree that it is a common practice to see the clients with broken or cracked nails. So every nail tech needs to know how to set up forms. Try to master it. Then you will easily handle all the possible defects and will fix any nail plate type. For example, the index nail is downgrowing. And I will lift up the curved tip. For this, I put a big gel drop here on the free edge to lift it up. So here are the underlays. Let's file them now. To lift up the curved tip, I lay down the file and place it under the nail plate. I file off the thickness and lift up the tip. It doesn't take too much time. I'm sure the client will appreciate your effort and will gladly pay for it. Now file the rest of the underlays. File carefully so as not to break them. Decrease the nails once again to wipe off the dust. And let's apply sculpting layer. This gel is medium in consistency, so it aligns easily. Even beginner tacks will find it nice to work with. I spread it well in the cuticle zone to avoid liftings and pull it down. Lay it out and then spread it with the brush. It is faster this way. And to form a longitudinal arch, I turn the hand over and form the highlight. It will indicate if the surface is even. Use a thin brush in the cuticle zone if needed. Tilt the finger down during the layout to avoid pulling in the cuticle zone. It should look nice and clean there. Even if we're using a no filing technique, it happens that the client puts the hand into the lamp the wrong way and the gel pulls, which I hate. Cause I have to file it out and then get rid of all the dust all over again. I must admit that I'm a bit tired of removing the dust here. But that's my job and we will enjoy the result. I also make sure to even out the lens where needed. So our no filing technique involves some filing after all. 
Now, finally, let's move on to the design. I've got this cool glitter gel that I wanted to try out badly. It looks like snow. Actually, we can mix our own glitter gel, using some glitter and a clear base or gel. I put some on the fridge and blend it out with a brush. Make sure that bigger glitter fragments do not get layered in one area. I will apply this neon yellow base coat in the cuticle zone. It is translucent, just the way I need. Since the base coat adds extra thickness, my strengthening layer was thin. I align it a little bit, blend it out with an ombre brush, form a smooth transition. Since the base coat gets spread nicely, the transition looks super smooth here, with such a nice aquarium effect. It is so cool to examine the glitter under this translucent whale. I think it looks fascinating. Now let's cover it up with a medium layer of a glossy top coat, since glitter tends to stick out. I turn the hand over to align the top coat, wait for a few seconds and send it to cure in the lamp. That's not it! Let's outline this design with a minimalistic black French line. I'm using a non-tacky gel paint and a thin brush with long hair. Grab some paint and pull a smooth line. Here's the finished look. Give a thumbs up if you like it. We have fixed all of the mistakes and in order to avoid them, learn how to do a manicure the right way. I hope my other nail transformations will help you with that. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.